All right, if we're gonna sit here and say that Husky and T-Rex are too strong, overpowering our ostrich, we gotta put our money where our mouth is and really prove that they're that good. So I hope you enjoy this game. It's just some pure, unadulterated, high tempo scaling for ya. Let's jump right in. Of course, we're not expecting to win this round, but next round, I think we'll be a little bit better off. And that's what matters. Go here, go here. Grab some birds. I think we're actually better off just doing this. Have a 2 9 out there. 2 11, we'll say. That's enough. That'll get us there. That'll get us there. Okay. We're on two now. Let's get a level. We grab an eel. We grab some broccoli. Throw in a peacock in the mix. I don't think we care about any of those. All right. <clears throat> what does the peacock do for us? Let's see. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. We're on the board. We gotta win. Mm -hmm. Hold you. At this point, we can just freeze everything. Carry over the two gold from the magpie. The greatest unit ever made. <laughs> Dang, the big homie, big homie gets him there. All right, so we have 12 gold. Let's go, let's level first. Not really close to the bison. Maybe we try for it anyways. What if the magpie just, just works? We do this. Almost level three on a Thunderbird. So we're looking for a lollipop, if you couldn't tell here. That's that's the goal. Um, and then we'll just have a giant magpie. And do whatever you do with a giant magpie. Beautiful. Peacock helping out. Love to see it. <laughs> okay. Here, here, roll me. Level three bison is online. Love to see it. Let's hang on to the hippo for just a second. We're still looking for this magpie little one two punch. Maybe we'll find it, maybe we won't. We'll see. Yeah, big eel. We're gonna get it there. Tier four. Another bison. I think without a doubt we do this and then we do our little flippity floppity throw out the bison all right this seems like a solid team now this seems like we might know what we're doing <laughs> i wouldn't dare venture so far as to say we do know what we're doing but it looks like we might sometimes that's all that matters You just got to appear as though you might know what you're doing. Holy moly, that's a big homie. Roll me. Give me a level. Me a Niala. Another hippo. Let's keep the magpie gold moving over. Getting ready for the following turn. Oh baby, Hippo's going to town. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. We don't even need the Niala trumpets or the bison. Another bison. Good 
go here. Early T-Rex. Probably good, I just don't know with what yet. So we're not gonna... We're not gonna send him out there on the front lines yet. Let's let the magpie work. I wish we could hold the anglerfish too. But we cannot. I guess magpie doesn't need to be up front anymore. He's no longer our big hitter. Ouch. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're out here just taking names. Sausing up a storm. Okay, so Thunderbird has to stay. So we're going to run a magpie here. Or we're going to get rid of the magpie, I should say. Husky is always welcome. Which I guess means the Niala is gone. But we need another tier 5 or 6 for the Husky. Hmm, that's tough. Or tier 5 or 6 for the, the Tyrannosaurus, I mean. Maybe we just do the 2-2 two, two for now. Until our hippo gets scaled up. Leveled up, I mean. Okay. This will at least keep us scaling up a little bit until our team gets its gets in its stride and we can get rid of this Thunderbird that seems to be flagging our team as of yet. Hmm, close. Somehow you got you got a hippo there. This hippo gets it for him. Alright. I'd love to put it on the T-Rex, but we need the, the bison scaling, so let's do this. Now we can get rid of you. Let's see if we get a husky. We do not. We do not find a husky. So it looks like we're going to be doing something like this. And hope that this is enough. Alright, good. Great breakpoints. Lovely. We had just barely enough on the bison there to get us through it. Huge. Go here. An extra 4-4. Four, four. Where is an extra 4-4? Four, four? But the husky will buff our hippo, which is important. And we can level into a T-Rex. Beautiful. Hold you. Grab you. Okay, so we're looking pretty good now, actually. I would venture so far as to say we might be in a good spot here. It's just hard when you're on one health, you know, you could die at any point. But as long as we're outscaling the ostrich, <laughs> which is pretty easy to do, we're gonna be in a good spot. Keep rolling. I don't think we're caring about the bison here. I'll hold a pretzel. Just help out our hippo a little bit with 4-4. Four, four. The hippo is going to behave more as like a cleanup kind of guy. I don't think it's going to send out, you know, send to the front line and take out everybody. That just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Alright, we're at 7. One of these turns we're just going to run up against the most insane nuts team you've ever seen and then it's going to be over. But until then, we're going to enjoy it. The reason I didn't take Cornucopia there, if you were wondering, is because it almost always gives you old perks for some reason. And we just don't need any of those. That is entirely unnecessary of our husky. So we're just not going to waste the gold looking around. Mm, see, that's what I mean with the breakpoints. If you get bad breakpoints, it can get dicey. Fortunately, we didn't pay that time because the rest of our team is strong enough. But yeah, you can, you can get into some bad waters there pretty quick. 
I don't know who we want to put the chocolate on. Probably the husky. Do we just level the bison? It's an extra two attack is all it's doing. So I'm going to say probably not. Right, because his health is maxed out anyways. But really, we're looking for the husky. Did not find it. There is a world in which we give the, the bison some held food starting pretty soon. Okay, we're good here. I think we've break past that that threshold that you have to overcome with these mass team scalers. I think we've gotten past it now. Roll me. I want to get the husky. Whatever we do, husky is the... Dude, they're really trying to push these hammerheads though. Husky or chocolate. Literally anything. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, now I'll do the hammerhead. We've seen like 10 hammerheads in the past few turns. Kinda crazy. Alright, what do we got? Let's see. This team's looking not too scary. We may be in a good spot here. The, the comeback is real. <laughs> Slowly working our way back up from the brink. I, I'm not even worried about Hammerhead. I'm looking for buffs on the hippo. If we can find pretzels, we'll just put pretzels on the hippo and that's all we really need right now. Any pretzels out there? We could go steak too, actually. Steak kind of sucks though. <laughs> like, nobody's gonna have melons for the most part. So what's putting steak on these huge guys gonna do? Not much, presumably. We could go chili. They're not quite 50, so I'm gonna refrain. But we could. Alright, where are we hiding all of our pretzels? Where are the pretzels hiding? I only found the one. I'll hold cornucopia in case we draw or something weird like that. I'd like to have cornucopia here. And I think we're good. Our huskies and T-Rexes are stronger, <laughs> therefore we win. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, yeah. It is one of those, you know, you gotta get past the little hump, right? When you first pivot into a scaling team. Once you get past that hump though, it's hard to lose. You got so much scaling. We probably didn't even need to keep this hippo as long as we did. You know, he's not doing anything. So we probably would have been better off without him, but whatever. Just put anybody with these two and you're good to go. Not too bad. 